Hello! In this video we're going to look at uh, some alternative models to use as Mirkwood Spiders. So Games Workshop released uh, Mirkwood Spiders and they're 22 quid for two, which is alright if you're only buying the two I guess. But one scenario in the There and Back Again book calls for, uh, for 18 spiders, which is rather expensive when you uh, total it up. It means you need to buy nine uh, sets at £22 a pop. Quite expensive, even between two mates or even three mates, that's quite an expense. So, being it's uh, October and the run up to Halloween, uh, I thought we'd look at some alternative uh, you can use. Uh, you can go into any shop at the moment and just pick up these sort of uh, stuff like this, which is spiders. I got these for uh, four pounds, I believe, just under four pounds. So, there's nine in each pack, that's 18, that's perfect, that is exactly what you need. I've got some spiders here and the Games Workshop spiders are based on uh, 60 mil bases so uh, you can of course buy them from Games Workshop but they're quite expensive even uh, sort of other merchants they're quite expensive so what I'm going to use are these which are uh, MDF discs laser cut MDF discs they're 60 mil so we're just going to use these to uh, base our spiders so there's those what they are is that thick, so 60 mil. Uh, yeah, I think I got 60 mil near me. So yeah, it's 60 mil base, and what it is, they're beveled. So, but this top 60 mil swing, you can put it on there. It's exactly that. Um, let's have a look at the spiders. Now again, just go into any shop. I believe at the moment something like Sainsbury's sells plastic spiders. I got these from eBay. And the same for like a quid for eight. So you can buy three packs of them. So look. So there they are. That's what we're gonna be uh focuses in. So that's what we're gonna be uh using. At the moment they're not the best looking, but we are gonna obviously paint them up. We're not gonna have the bright red eyes. Uh and they will sit on the base, we'll glue the legs, pop it onto the base, pop glue them down, move the legs around like so. so the first thing I'm uh, going to have to do is actually do something with this base. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, it's going to base this one in sand, but you can do other things I guess. You can. Uh, stones on and stuff but for this one we'll just do a simple base and uh, get some glue there grab a brush paint the glue on It's all covered evenly. Uh, just dip it in the sand. Sprinkle it on. Like so. I'll put that to uh, one side to dry. Okay, so uh, I've got the basic base, which is just grass on the base, but we can do other things. We can go, and, go in the garden, collect some rocks, clean them up. Obviously first. And also a bit to slate. Now uh process is still the same. A bit of glue. Put that on there. Like so. Uh, let that dry before sanding it. So again just Uh, stick that there. Again, leave that to one side. And for the stones, it's uh, same process. What I've tried to do is find stones to a fairly flat underneath. So you just do that, put them on. Because my feeling is with the spiders, I'm going to have them climbing over the rocks, like so. And 
you're going to want pretty much a big rock and a little rock just to make it look a bit more natural and all we're going to do is let that dry and uh, add the uh, sand on like the plain bases the bases of uh, all dried now so I'm going to paint them uh, I'm going to use Games Workshop paints as normal for big projects like this I'm going to use these things test parts you've probably seen these uh, loads of times now if you watch the video this one's like a, a dark brown so on the gravel I'm going to paint those dark brown uh, probably not going to do a lot of the slate because it's slate uh, but the rocks I know they look like stones rather than rocks so I'm going to undercoat them in this which is really dark grey it's called barely black so it'll be undercoated in that I'll then highlight it probably using this storm cloud which is a really light brown grey or maybe some of them might do a flintstone which is like a dawnstone grey and then I'll probably uh, dry brush the entire thing brown and stone in this it's called woodland fawn but it's more like a uh, carrot stone so uh, what I'll do is I'll do that now so <coughs> I've been concentrating on the bases just recently, but what about the actual spiders? Well, that's what we're going to look at now. Uh, when you look to mine, you may have noticed that they have red eyes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, paint over those red eyes black. And then we're going to take some of this uh, Skaven Blight Dinge, which is a really dark grey. And we're just going to use this old brush. Uh, we're just going to dry brush over the entire model. I'm just gonna, gonna dry brush it. Uh, pay particular attention to the legs. Uh, this should pick out all the uh, fur details on them because these are actually surprisingly detailed, uh, considering a few quid. Uh, obviously, you can take time and make him look better. I'm not a painter by any realms of the imagination. There we go. We've got that. Just to, just to bring out some of the detail and because I didn't undercoat them in black, the plastic was quite shiny and it just, just nulls that down a bit. So that's that. Put him to one side. Uh, next, there's one that's dry, it's like a different type. It's going to take some uh, Dawnstone and slightly heavier, so I want a bit more on my brush. But on the joint of the leg, uh, come on, camera. We're gonna focus in on the spider. You can do it, camera. Anyway, let's hopefully close enough to see if I can take that out of shot. Mm. Out of shot. Here we go. Alright, so on the uh, joints of the legs here. We're just gonna put some uh, quite a heavy amount of Dawnstone yes, on the joint just to bring those out. Just like that. And I'll carry on doing that. The uh, next stage is just add a bit of brown around this area here. So we're just going to do that using uh, Rhinoxide. So what we're going to do is I'm going to paint another little semicircle on his bit there. Uh, and then another. 
another semicircle there, so it's almost got a circle. This bit's up to you, you just make do individual patterns on your spiders. I'm gonna have a line going all the way down his back. I'll just have lines coming off like that there. And that's coming off there. Yeah, uh, some sort of pattern there. And I'll leave that to dry. And the next stage is just do another bit of brown. Yeah, next stage is just add a bit of brown highlighting. Um, just gonna get some Morn Fang brown. And just on his head, we're just gonna, again, this is all personal marking. It's gonna do a little semicircle there to edge the brown that I painted in. And then we're just gonna down the line of his back again where the dark brown was. And we're just gonna come off the line to add it in. Into that. Well, that's it for that. It's looking alright. One more highlight of. Uh, a lighter brown to do and I think oh well there's man going uh, that'll be it yeah final brown we're gonna do just using some uh, st steel legion drab and we're just gonna lightly and thinly go over a semicircle there and just on the top part of his body here yeah, but not not all the way just just like that, just to pick out. Just pick out the highlights. And that is it for the actual brown. We're gonna do the uh, eyes next. To do the eyes, it's just a case of uh with find that where the eyes are on this right over there and just paint them blob of white. But I wanna do like the model, games workshop model, do other types of eyes. So I can put up there, up there, on there, on there, on there. So, <coughs> so giving them, even though there's only two eyes on the model, I'm uh, giving it multiple eyes. I'm just going to do that on all the others. And that is pretty much spider painted. So if the spider's done, we're going to turn our attention back to the bases. The brown's dry, and again, because I use like my homemade gravel, which is just two different types of bird uh, sand, one coarse, one fine. When you paint it brown, it sort of it sort of soaks in and doesn't all go one colour, so it already looks. So I don't need to dry brush that, but all we're going to do now is get the uh, nearly black paint which is a really dark grey and we're just gonna, gonna paint the rocks in this I'm not gonna do the slate ones because I think you know slate slate but these rocks just because of the scale it looks doesn't look like a big rock it looks like a small stone from the garden so we're just gonna go over that so it's a really dark grey and I'll come back <laughs> for the next stage which is a dry brushing stage the next stage is to uh, just dry brush a light colour on this is going to be a thing called Woodland Fawn um, which is a bit like a carrot stone I guess in, in colour that's just a case of dry brushing it in because it looks dark grey flat so what we're going to do is bring it to life hopefully what you do, I hate stones that are painted just grey because they're not really in real life, they're like a brownie colour so it just makes it pop like that, look at the difference already so you can actually just well that's it, it's that simple there it is. No, 
that's it. One more stage to do now. And that is adding some leaf litter in. Yeah, it's going to be in Mirkwood Forest. Uh, this is quite simple. Get some glue. Get an old paintbrush. Get your base and just you want to think about where the leaves would gather and sort of when the wind blows them so it's going to gather in between the rocks all around the edges where it's blown up against yeah right in there here maybe some on the rock here would have blown up and just a few splotches around the actual base Something like that. Get some leaf litter, which is just an organic product, just little seed pods, but they look like small leaves. And then just go through, flick it in. I'll take a few passes to uh, get it in there. Pat it down with your finger. So, and then dab off the excess, and you might need to do that process again. So, that's what it looks like. Go in, shake off any excess, the glue will dry clear, of course. Out of the way, so it hopefully will focus in on the item in question. There we go. I've turned off auto focus on off, so it just focuses in. You can see here, and that dry that will look quite nice. And that's it. I'm not going to do any grass or anything because it's going to be in the forest floor, so I quite like that. Just got to all the others. And that is just the plain base we did. So we don't have any door or any rocks, just do a similar sort of thing. And the slate ones, again similar. Got a few leaves on the slate there. I don't have any leaves on the slate on this one, I might add a few in, might not. But yeah, now you just gotta leave leave all these to dry. So base is done, spider's painted. Only thing left to do now is to actually just glue the spider to the base. It's quite simple. Take a spider. Just take some soup glue. Try and cover as much in as possible. And just uh, glue them on. You're going to need to get a good contact with the base. Just a case of gluing them on and leaving them. What you can do if you want, if the legs aren't correct for you once it's dry, just hold it in place and glue the legs better. But I kind of like them as they are. So yeah, I'm certainly leave that to dry. We'll have a look at all the spiders complete now. So uh, here's nine of them done. Uh, I've got another bag to do, but I can do that later on. Uh, I mean the total spend of this video was uh, $1.95 for 9 spiders, so that's 2 bags, and £4 for 20 bases. So for like £7.90 you get 18 spiders, uh, rather than spending £190. So yeah, that's, that's it, I mean, this is uh, that's how they look when they're done. Yeah, I'm quite, I quite like them, don't they? I actually think they look quite good. Because in there, sort of Halloween spiders. There you go, just the focus, you can see it. You know, for cheap Halloween sp uh, spiders, I think these look great. And I'm not going to look out of place on your tabletop. So that is an alternative to uh, Mirkwood Spider model video. Uh, yeah, 
Can't wait to use these on the board. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it, and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Game on and continue to support our wonderful hobby.